Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked me how they could create, and I'm using RGB. They, they're a printer. They're going to probably use CMYK. How they could send a variation of like red and yellow to a customer and have the customer pick it. I guess they would print it out on the same printer they're going to do the job on. But here it's telling you it's RGB 55, green 113, and blue zero. How could you create this where you could print it out? Well, I finally figured out you have to set your, if you're going to print it out on whatever size paper your printer is, most common household paper printers are eight and a half by 11. You have to set that as default to make this work. So I'm going to open up a new page. And so I, I normally don't have that page. Mine is normally 40 by 28. But we're going to make a new palette. And I'm just going to draw like a one inch square and control D and make a duplicate of it. Move it over. They don't have to be together, but I like them being on the same level. So I'm going to hit P to put them on top. I'm going to make one of them blue and I'm going to make one of them green. Now I want to take away the outline, I would think. Now I'm going to go up to effects and blend. And I think about 62 is all you can get on this paper or close. So I'm just going to do 60, hit apply. Now you need to go to object, break the blend apart, which are control K, or go to group and ungroup, which is control U. Now you have 62 objects. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select them and go up to windows, color palettes, Create palette from selection, because I've got them selection. Now I'm putting them under palettes, which might be hard to find, so I'm going to put them under pictures. And I'm going to put them uh, green, blue. And you could put them under your desktop, I could think. And hit save. Now here's the key to make them print. We're going to use a macro, so go to tools, scripts, or macros, depending on your version. Run script. Go down here to change to a color chart creator. And then hit run. Now red and yellow is what I did before, but I need to go to open. And there's my green and blue. And now I'm going to set that at five spacing. Uh, so that I think they're all going to, I tried another number and they didn't really fit. And I'm just going to hit okay. And then once you and see it while it's doing that, it created a color palette over here that I could use in the future. And look at that. I mean, not only is it giving you the color, it's giving you the, so this is true green. Um, like we go over this green here, we got green 255 or a red and blue or zero. So that was what I started out with. And then it went to this blue. So you've got every color under the rainbow on, on green and blue. And if somebody goes, I want my map to be that color right there. They could tell you the number. And all you have to do is find that. Well, you don't even have to find the number if you've got that. You could just take your design, get your color eyedropper tool, and say they want that one Let's say there's one right here, and there's that color, exactly like they want it. And it'd be quite handy. I'm trying to talk and think at the same time. I took away the outline. Anyway, it's not going to be too useful for my engraving followers, but if you're a printer, that's pretty cool. Now this palette is here. And you could always go to palette, palette, close. You don't have to look at it. And I've done so I've done a yellow one that I might use in the future for doing some sum stuff. Does sun? So we're gonna go to color palettes, open a palette, and we're gonna go red and yellow. So now I have that red and yellow that I might someday I might want like a burnt orange. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. I 
little bit of a learning curve for me also. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.